dress me Kiyamura. In this video, I'll show you how you can make this perfectly oversized boxy t-shirt. We'll be using our new Teddy PDF sewing pattern, linked below, which will give us this minimal pocketed t-shirt with dropped sleeves and a classic jewel neckline. So get the pattern at the link in the description of this video and let's get started. Here are the materials that we'll need. For your fabric choice, you'll need a light to medium weight stretch knit fabric. This would be something like a ponte knit, French terry, jersey, ITY, or a brushed poly. In this tutorial, I'll be using an off-white ponte knit fabric. I like working with this because it's a stable stretch knit that has some weight to it, but it's very light on the body and very comfortable. Your fabric layout will depend on your size pattern. I've included the detailed instructions for cutting your fabric with examples in the pattern booklet. So let's get to sewing. We're going to start with our center back seam. Pin the back pieces right sides together and sew. Press the seam to get rid of any waviness that may happen in your fabric. Then turn your seam to one side and top stitch that seam from the right side of your fabric 4mm from the edge. Press the center seam. And you want to make sure that you're pressing and cooling all of your seams during the entire sewing process. Using a wooden tailor scrapper like this one, I've got it linked below for you, takes away any of the heat and moisture after pressing and allows the stitches to hold the fabric better. At the same time, it impresses the right shape into the fabric. Now to sewing our pocket. Mark 1 centimeter or about 0.4 inches, seam allowances of the pocket. Stitch this top edge of the pocket and then fold this edge to the marks right sides together and pin. Sew the corners of the pocket and then stay stitch the pocket following the previously drawn guideline. Because I used a water-soluble marker here, I can just take a wet napkin and dab off the ink. Turn out the corners, and then press the top edge of the pocket and the sides following our stay-stitched guideline for folding the seam allowances to the wrong side. Top stitch the facing of the pocket on the right side about 2.5 cm from the edge. Press the top edge of the pocket to get rid of the waviness from the top stitching. Pin the pocket to the right side of the fabric of the bodice following the mark on your pattern for the pocket placement. It's a little circle. Top stitch the pocket 1 to 2 millimeters from the edge. Here's a little diagram of how I did it. Then press to give the pocket a finished look. Pin the back and front right sides together at the shoulder seams and sew or search. Turn the seam allowances towards the back and top stitch from the right side 4 millimeters or about 0.2 inches from the edge. Press here as well. Sew the short edge of the neckline band to make one loop. Then press the seam allowances facing different directions so it won't be bulky. Fold the wrong sides together in half and press again. Mark the quarters of the neckline. Then mark the quarters of the neckline band as well so that we can easily attach it together. Pin the neckline band to the neckline matching the quarter marks we just made and then pin in between. So, slightly stretching just the neckline band edge to match the neckline of the shirt. Then clip the corners of the seam allowances to minimize the thickness. 
Search the edge of the neckline. Press the neckline, forming the right round shape, with the seam allowances pressed towards the bodice. Now pre-shrink your twill tape by pressing or steaming. This twill tape will help stabilize our neckline to make sure that it doesn't stretch out while we're wearing our t-shirt. Sew the twill tape to the seam allowances of the back of the neckline. Cover the serged seam allowances of the back with your twill tape. And at the shoulder, fold the ends of the tape underneath and sew to finish off. Pin the other side of the twill tape and sew a millimeter from the twill tape edge. This way we're going to cover our serge seam. Top stitch the front neckline from shoulder to shoulder 4 millimeters or about 0.2 inches from the edge. And actually, you can just top stitch the neckline all around if you're looking for an easier way to finish the neckline without twill tape. Now we'll move on to our sleeves. Pin the sleeve into the armhole, matching the back marks of the bodice and the sleeve, and the center sleeve mark with the shoulder, and sew. Press the sleeve seam towards the sleeve. Place the t-shirt right sides together and pin the side seam of the sleeve and the bodice, and sew. Serge the hem of the sleeve and the shirt. If you're using a cover stitching machine for the hem, you can skip this step. Press the side seams and the serged edges. Try on your t-shirt and decide how wide you would like your hem to be. The pattern is made for a 3cm or 1 inch wide hem, but you can always adjust it to your liking. Decide on the length of the sleeves here as well. And now for the hem. Fold the edge of your sleeve about 3cm or 1 inch to the wrong side, pin and press. For the t-shirt hem, you can fold 3 to 5 centimeters or about 2 inches depending on how wide you like your hem to be. The pattern is for 3 centimeters, but I folded 5 centimeters or around 2 inches. Pin and press. This will make it easier for us to top stitch. And now, top stitch the hem. and give your garment a finishing press and we are done with our perfectly comfy teddy t-shirt. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this inspires you to sew a t-shirt for yourself because I know you'll love it. Get this PDF downloadable sewing pattern at the link in the description of this video and happy sewing!